So funny thing about me, guys, fun fact about me, before I had even booked my flight or my ticket here, I had already reserved the places I was going to eat. So y'all know where my priorities lie. Hello you guys, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Peace or aka Miss Preppy Pearl. Um, so yeah, I'm at the airport. I'm so, so, so excited, so happy to be here. Well, not the airport, but to reach where I'm supposed to go. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna be working because I still need to work. Yes, I look dusty. We gonna, we gonna keep it, okay? Um, but yeah, I need to get some work assignments done, so hopefully I can get some things done before my flight. But yeah, I am so excited. I'm so excited to bring you guys along on this trip. I hope you guys enjoy it. And in the meantime, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my um, social media accounts so that when I go on my next trip, you can follow along as well. So yeah, see you guys on the airplane. So I finally checked in. Um, this room is so cute. So a little bit of facts about this room. The reason I chose it is because um, on their site actually, they said that they're great for solo travelers. Also, they are great for um, women solo travelers because they actually have all these different access points. And I'll actually show you guys what I mean by that when I go back out because I'm gonna be going out for dinner. Um, so I'll show you guys that when I come back but I also booked this room because um, supposedly it's also like eco-friendly in a sense. So you're going to see because of the way it's built, it's eco-friendly. But honestly, I am so in love. It looks so clean. It looks so good. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, let me show you guys. So they got a hair dryer here. Now this is the bathroom. See the bathroom. See like, look at that. It's so cute shower head towel all the little things you need extra towels toilet bowl me <laughs> um then there's a full body mirror here so we love to see it and now you go in here and it's a nice bed look at look at nice nice little i think it's like a full size bed so full size bed. This is where you store your luggage and other belongings. Comforter, TV, a, a little chair. Also, if you pull it out, it extends. So that is awesome. I think this is just extra storage space, if I'm correct. Yeah. More space. Yeah this is the space um i'm i i love it i'm excited i love it so much i need to go ahead and freshen up because i have a few meetings um a few meetings that i have to take care of because i am working remotely <laughs> um but other than that i'm gonna try to take a nap also before because your girl's tired like very very tired like i didn't plan this well in regards to, i should have given myself like a a day break when I arrived to the UK and laid over, I should have gave myself a day before I then traveled here to Scotland, but it's okay because I'm still happy. I'm still excited. I just need to take a nap and shower. And so, yeah. Oh, and it has these little racks. I didn't even show you guys this. So, like, where you can hang your clothes. And you already know, you already know your girl. I'm going to go ahead and unpack myself because that's just who I am once I get somewhere I gotta unpack so yeah <laughs> I didn't show you guys this but it also the cool thing about this room is everything is like touch so you see that 
yeah you just you just touch it to control you know fancy fancy like i said i need to go and freshen up so i'm gonna go freshen up you guys so I am ready I am headed over for my to get dinner at this um Italian based restaurant it's called Amarone and yeah I'm excited it's like a three minute walk from me so I'm not gonna be late I, I was like rushing thinking that I was going to be late but I ended up not being late so that's awesome but yeah look at the girl face I beat it just a little bit just just um yeah and my outfit can't really see it but yeah so there we go and then we got the cow pack book back and yeah i am ready to go so let's be on our way So I am back um, at my hotel or my room. And so how do I feel about Amaron? So Amaron, it was pretty good. I don't know, I feel like Europeans, not Europeans, but I feel like in America, people be really trying to work for that tip and everything. But because here in um, the UK or Europe, they already fund that into the bill they don't really work that hard to get a tip so I think the customer service was lacking a little bit but I'm not upset about it I, I, I don't care um I will say that I was like the only black person in there besides the waitresses um waiters and waitresses so um not that I felt uncomfortable but you know it's always nice to see people like yourself who are also dining at an area or an establishment but it's okay the food now Okay, so the pasta, I had some type of um, Italian sausage something. I can't, I can't even remember what it's called. But it was pretty good. I would rate it like 7 out of 10 just because it didn't really shock me. I like to be shocked with my food, so it didn't do that much. But it was good. It was not bad. Um, then the mocktails. I love this about Europe. I don't know what it is about Europe, or maybe this is just the UK. But they actually take into account people who don't drink alcohol thank you thank you i don't drink alcohol so they had like a list of mocktails so for those of you who don't want to drink alcohol or you're looking for something that doesn't have alcohol in it they do have mocktails which was really good it was really really good it made me feel all fancy and junk um and then finally the dessert the dessert actually took the cake like The dessert took the the win. Like, oh my goodness. I've never had tiramisu, but I need everybody else's tiramisu to be exactly like their tiramisu. So all in all, it was good. But the establishment is very pretty. I love the aesthetics. I love the inside and everything about it. So yeah, I'm surprised my makeup is still intact because the way the the... It was raining on me. I literally, when I got there, I had to ask them, hey, do y'all have napkins so I can pat my face? Because I was, water was all over me. But it's okay. I still look good. That's all that matters, bro. That's all that matters. So all in all, I love Amaron. I not love. Love is a very strong word. 
I love Emeron in regards to their dessert, the tiramisu. I like it also because of its walking distance and how accessible it was um, from where I stayed. And the food was decent. The food was decent. The atmosphere was good. Food was quick. I love quick food coming out. Yes, come come out quickly. Yeah, and also the food wasn't that expensive. The pasta was £13.95. The tiramisu and the mocktail, I think, were like combined maybe like £7.95. So I only spent like 27 or so pounds. I know the math is not mathing, but yeah. <laughs> So it was decent. I am happy with it. I was hungry anyway. So yeah, I'm about to take all this off and uh, get changed and go to bed because your girl is tired and I gotta wake up early anyway. So yeah, see you guys later. Hi YouTube, I'm talking to my sister. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> I've been vlogging. I even vlogged in there too. Oh. Yeah, I was I'm I'm being bold this year. Period. Only when we're moving. But yeah, I was telling YouTube as well that, you know, I was struggling out here. I gave them my full review of the restaurant. Yeah. It was it was just interesting. The place was nice, but it was just Man, if I wasn't a confident person, I would have walked right out as a black person. But I was like, who? Who? No, I would have stayed, but I would have vlogged. <laughs> oh, I vlogged. They were looking at me too. I was like, some of them smiled like, oh, she's doing something. I'm like, yeah. I think at this point, you just have to be confident. Like, you can't let people be telling you. Then you won't get do anything because people are always going to stare. The place is great. Everything seems cool for the most part right now. Yeah, life's good. As future would say, is, is that future? Life's good or something. Sensation. Sensation. <laughs> hey you guys. So I am on my way to the first restaurant. It's called Layla's. I chose it because of the aesthetic. So we're gonna see how it goes. But I am like five minutes away. So trying to get there quickly so I can get my reservation because I think there's like after five minutes but yeah girl see the fit see the fit <laughs> yeah and also I have my raincoat on so if it starts raining this time I can cover myself but I think I might also buy an umbrella but we'll see when I get there um yeah this place is so beautiful you guys so so beautiful so yeah on my way Four minutes away, almost there. Woo! See you guys there. Actually, I wanna show you guys what I see, so yeah. This is what I see. It's so pretty. guys I went to Layla's it was pretty good um I do definitely think that you go there for the aesthetic like it's definitely for aesthetic thing oh I'm going the wrong way I'm going the wrong way but yeah for the aesthetic thing so I definitely will recommend it though the customer service was great though I love that so really enjoy that um and yeah I went to the gift shop we love Scotland. I went there to get my mother some magnets because I know she will kill me if I don't get her something from Scotland. So, yeah. I'm heading now to 
St. Giles Cathedral. I booked the tour. Um, guess what? The tours are free. So if you're ever in Edinburgh um, and you want to visit the cathedral, I don't know. I always love visiting like places of worship because you just got to respect it. So I'm going there. It was free. The booking was free. Guided tour is free. But they do ask for a donation. So of course donate to them. But I'm excited to go. And then from there we'll see what else I will do. I'm not gonna catch a cold here in Jesus name. <laughs> because the way I've been sniffling. Cha cha Yeah. I'm heading in the right direction. funny the other reason I also wanted to come here is because um I took a modern art and architectural class at tech and like it really inspired me so I'm actually seeing some of the things here and it's quite amazing that this was built back then with no like modern technology or anything like that to me is amazing and a testament you know to how awesome and great people are y'all can hear it but I'm heading into Edinburgh Castle and this is how it looks it's so pretty
need the sun to come out and stay out. That's the only reason I have this mask on still because I kind of don't want to leave my cold. So here I couldn't go I couldn't show you guys because there were no like cameras and phones allowed but it was really nice it's basically kind of like a memorial memoriam for people so that was nice I'm about to go into the great hall so this is going to be fun
the sun is out and I am loving it. This is how the sun should always be out in this place. On my way, on my way. Isn't it cute? Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Ooh, that is cool. Can I take a picture real quick? That's pretty. I hope I got a picture. Yep, I got a good picture too. Look at all the, I don't know, I love the architecture and everything. I know it may seem old to some people, but I really love stuff like this. <laughs> so funny. Ian Cover is your husband. <laughs> I think my mom would like that book. <laughs> Alright you guys, so now I'm heading over to um, Zara. I'm gonna go to Zara just to see if they got anything because I've been seeing this new spring collection so I really want to check it out. So heading back to Zara and yeah. This should be fun. <laughs>
so you guys um i couldn't find a like a bathing suit that i wanted which is fine it is what it is i also went into zara and i still didn't find anything in zara so i'm just gonna shop us because that's always easier for me anyway but now i think i'm gonna head back to my place since i can't find anything or see anything so yeah yep 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 but this place is pretty it's really pretty see it's really pretty it's like a little mall but they call it a market st james square sjs that's the act the abbreviation so yeah they have some of the similar stores that we have guys heading over to tattoo 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 um that's the restaurant it's like a japanese i believe it's japanese it's some form of asian but i believe it's japanese restaurant um they are known for their quite a spin on their like desserts and such and also they have like these it's just cool to see their desserts and food places and they have a menu of mocktails for people like me who don't drink so happy about that so yeah i'm gonna head on my way i'm actually kind of early at 7 10 and it says it's gonna take five minutes but knowing me roundabouts i'd rather just get there early and wait than have to like be late like yesterday and try to figure my plate myself out so yeah yeah Oh, and then outfit. Here's the here's the fit. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it. Let's see. Okay, guys. So the dress. This is the dress. It's like off the shoulder. Um, yeah. And then shoes. I'm gonna wear my flats because don't got time but yeah this is my look for dinner that is me tattoo I have a reservation. Perfect, what's the name? Peace.
hi you guys so i just woke up this is the third day of my stay in scotland um today's going to be a more chill day so i'm going to the spa um it's called one spa um edinburgh so just to you know rewind unwind and i'm gonna do some chill things i will be also going to have afternoon tea at um signet library so that to me is so cool so i don't think i will vlog really mostly my um experience at the spa first because they don't allow cameras i believe and two um i just kind of want to just relax and not have to worry about vlogging but i will pick up vlogging again when i get to afternoon tea and i also hoping to see victoria street it's like this colorful street in um scotland that scotland i mean edinburgh is known for so definitely want to see that and maybe also prince's garden um also i didn't know i had family here well not by blood well by blood but still through marriage by from my uncle's side anyway basically so she actually reached out and she's gonna hang out with me a little bit too so y'all might also see her if she wants to be on camera so yeah I need to get ready and be on my way but yeah if I don't vlog as much I apologize because I really just want to like enjoy and unwind and so that is why you need to follow me on Instagram because I do always take st um, photos and videos on my um, phone and I always put it on my stories on Instagram so for the next trip um, make sure to be following me on my socials snapchat Instagram because I do be posting there and you won't miss any details so go ahead and subscribe and like that was long-winded I'll see you guys later bye party well I do know how to party y'all just don't invite me but I do know how to find the enjoyment spots all the relaxation spots like yeah that's who I am <laughs> guys so the spa was awesome definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend so now i'm at the signet library yep you heard it signet library i'm having afternoon tea here yeah i'm really like excited to go and such so we're gonna see how it goes So they don't open until 11, so I'm just gonna, you know, show y'all some things. I was actually just here yesterday. This is St. Giles Cathedral, right here. And then, I don't know, this looks like some type of parliament building. Oh, there we go, it says West Parliament. I don't know if y'all can see the sign, let me zoom in. West Parliament Square yeah statue there but this is saint giles cathedral i did a guided tour which was free again y'all should definitely do it 
it was well worth it i learned a lot learned that the scottish people love to cut people's heads off um which is very peculiar but hey we move so yeah so i am still out here waiting that's the place but i met these um two guys they're from kentucky they saw me like struggling to take a picture and they offered to take it and so then i found out that they were from kentucky i was like oh that's so cute but they were nice so i was like oh, okay we like we like you nice kentucky is it kentuckians i don't know what you call people from kentucky anyways yeah i'm still waiting i have like three more minutes so trying to go in but your girl look good i love the glow my hair is a mess but it's okay it's all right so oh you guys i forgot i haven't i didn't do a nail plug i gotta show y'all my nails yeah y'all see them y'all see them very easter yes easter shout out to alafia creations if you didn't know um i do sell press on nails so go ahead and shop with me the link is going to be in the description below and i custom make um designs as well so yeah This is Rubo's tea in South African. So, yeah. I don't even know why I'm whispering. Like, it's not like anyone's here. But, yeah. <laughs> y'all 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 it was so nice like it was so nice i can't even cab with y'all i'm i would recommend this place 10 times out of 10 times out of 10 times like y'all definitely need to go to um signet library colonnades it's so pretty everything is just so nicely done um i do love all the food and everything that was there like it was just so 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 amazing so i would definitely recommend to anyone to go it's worth the experience and plus you'll be full like everything made me so full i was like oh my god so yeah y'all see the shades the shades are giving they're giving like yes they transition i know amazing this is so pretty to me like 
So yeah, I'm heading back to my place so I can do some work <clears throat> and wait for my aunt who says she's taking me out. So I'm going to see her, but I'm just going to go do some work and chill. I'm going to see if I can properly show you guys the place of like the place I stayed because I was trying to record before and it was just so blurry but now everything's focused so hopefully this works so I can show y'all and so basically when you type in the hub it's two addresses show up but the one I stayed at is on row street mind you they're both on like the same street one is just a block down so it was very confusing this is how it will look when you walk in so this is the first one this is the premier end you're not going to that one this is where i stay the hub so it's across from this place called rubber sins or eight ball so this is the place walking through here walking through here there's the lobby here and then everything is access control so you use your car and you tap it by the door and at the entrance of the door and then here at the elevator and then you go to four and then you tap again it'll open the door you'll hear the sound and then these are the halls and then the lights turn on automatically and it's a mess but yeah <laughs> Hi you guys, so this is the last day of my trip in Scotland. Um, I had an amazing time, but I'm gonna go out and do last few things that I want to see. So I'm hoping to go see Victoria Street. It's just like colorful street. And then I also wanna see if I can go to the Princess Garden, even though I passed through it yesterday, but I just wanna see it again. And the um, National Museum Gallery. So, and then get something to eat. I have to get something to eat. So hopefully I can do that. But um, in the meantime, check out my outfit. Check out the fit. Yeah, yeah. Actually, let me show it this way. See the fit? It's all white with the, you know, shoes, my funky socks. I love how white, it just looks so nice on me, like all white. And then, you know, the bag. So, yeah, cute, cute and yeah so yeah uh excited so i'm just gonna go ahead and check out so i'm not late in checking out so i've already packed all my bags and everything and so that'll be all for me i will see you guys later
here are so nice. Like, I was over here again struggling to take my picture and these two girls asked to like help me take my picture. Like, people are just so nice. You don't even have to ask for things. They just willingly want to do it. Okay, you guys, so I am now, I think I'm in like part of the Princess Street Garden. This is my view. Yeah, I think it's just part of it. It's not the full like garden. So I'm gonna keep walking and show you the rest of the garden. But yeah, I'm having too much fun. I do need to find food soon though, because the way my head, that means like my sugar is low so gotta go ahead and eat real quick but yeah gardens y'all blue zot the people who made this coat, y'all need to pay me. I'm so serious. Literally, these two women, they were like, oh my gosh, we love your coat. Like, and I've been getting that ever since I've been in Scotland. Ever since I've worn this coat, I always get compliments. I keep trying to tell y'all, these companies need to pay me because the way I be fitting these fits is the reason why they like it so much. But anyways, just had to tell y'all that, that your girl's very fashionable wherever she goes. <laughs>
Are you, are you counting how many of these 